Hello. My name is Angela, and um, that's going to be a hard act to follow. Good job, Jackie. Very good job. <laughs> well, um, let's start like this. If you want to be reborn, let yourself die. I want to take you on a journey with me over the next few minutes. Some of this may sound very similar to you, and some of it may sound very different. But stick with me, go with me, and I'll explain the two to you a little bit later. So in childhood, my biggest goal was to make other people happy. All right? If you have success, it leads to happiness, right? I had to have the best grades, the scholarships, graduate with honors. I had to get my master's degree. Don't take a break. Get your doctorate. Find a prestigious career. Check the boxes. Sound familiar to anybody? Okay. I lost myself along the way. I'm not sure if I really ever knew myself, honestly. In graduate school and as a young professor, I studied women's mental health. We oftentimes study those things that are the most important to us, those things that maybe mean a great deal. Going in as a young professor, I was diagnosed with my second autoimmune disease. My career was literally killing me. It was stressful. I couldn't get away from it. It was time to make a big change. So I had to resign. Charlie and I, my husband, had a successful business, Productive Flourishing, and we were able to move here to Portland and make a new start. Now, ignoring yourself for more than 30 years, ignoring your mind, ignoring your body, doesn't disappear overnight. So I had many things, ups and downs, to deal with along the journey. And about a year ago, I was feeling well enough that Charlie and I were able to finally take a long overdue vacation to Alaska. In the middle of nowhere in Alaska, my disease caught up with me again, and I almost passed away. On an Alaskan highway, as Charlie was driving me to the hospital, I felt my body shutting down. What came after that is what Charlie and I have called the reset. And there are a lot of bad names you could give it, melting down, losing your shit, all of these kinds of things. But I was dealing with severe PTSD, anxiety, and depression. And it was time for me to start focusing on healing. So we had to reprioritize a lot of things in our lives. I was out of the business for six months, and things just weren't going the way that we had planned. Well, little did I know that this was actually probably going to be the best thing that could ever happen to me. Yeeks, I know, right? Um, during this time is when I finally found my purpose. Prior to this, I had compared myself to other people throughout my entire life. Compare and despair is what we talk a lot about now. Now I believe that each and every one of us have something unique inside ourselves that we can gift to the world. It's why it's important that we do understand our brain and our body and how they work together, especially women we are two to six times more likely to deal with anxiety disorders than men are. Think about our socialization as well. We're socialized to suppress certain emotions and express others. Like anger. We're not supposed to be angry. Well, I was, but I was suppressing it. And it came out in other ways. So now what? I would love to be able to stand up here today and tell you, hey, I've got it all figured out. Not true. We're on that journey together. That's the way I like to think about it, at least. I've learned a lot, and I have a lot more to learn. The thread that has held everything together for me, though, throughout all of this, is that when I'm able to share with others and be vulnerable with others, I feel happy. I feel like I'm getting to my purpose. So a few things that have helped me in my journey. Don't let your brain get in the way. This is what I did. I analyzed everything. Everything was about logic. I didn't listen to my gut, and I didn't pay attention to my heart. And I suffered for it. Also, make sure you have a supportive community around you. Your path is your own, but you need people who can understand you and support you, regardless of what you're doing. Think for a minute about the heroes and the heroines that you really admire. They've probably had to buck the system, 
at some point in time to be able to make social change and good things happen. I believe that we all have that inside of us and that you need to let it loose on the world. So in closing, stay open, try new things, believe in yourself, and I guarantee you're going to make mistakes along the way. It means you're living. Thank you.